ladies and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my foundation routine. Lately I've been getting a lot of questions on what I use uh, for my foundation, um, skincare routine, things like that. So I figured I'd bring you ladies a video showing you exactly what I do. I guess for my everyday makeup routine. I don't wear makeup every day but I'll just show you my go-to um, foundation routine. So as far as skincare goes, um, I get a lot of questions on what my skincare routine is, what I use for my skin, things like that. Um, honestly, I really don't have a routine. I just, um, there are a few things that I do on a regular basis um, that I guess attributes to my, I guess my clear skin. Um, but honestly, I'm fortunate enough to have decent skin. I mean, I do have this blemish right here, but for the most part, I don't really suffer from um, acne or um, blemishes or things like that. So letting you know a little bit about my skin, um, I do have dry skin. I know that most people have like oily or combination skin, but my skin tends to be dry. Um, usually like around here, I'll get dry patches and around my nose and sometimes around my mouth but for the most part my skin is super dry so for a face wash I use um, this Olay Nourishing uh, it's a cream cleanser um, I don't use this every day I might use this um, once a week um, just to get all the stuff off of my face from that week and then um, I use I have a uh, witch hazel and a little spray bottle and I'll take a just a little cotton pad and I actually use witch hazel on my face every day I use it in the morning um, right before I put on my moisturizer and then I use it um, at night before I go to bed and after I use the witch hazel I moisturize my face with the Pond's um, cream and this one is for dry skin most times I'll get the one for extra dry skin but um, this one works fine it's very um, moisturizing and I definitely use that in the morning um, after I use the witch hazel and at night after I use witch hazel so I do that before I start my foundation and once I'm ready to start doing my makeup I use the Smashbox hydrating primer and this is really good if you have dry skin like I do and so I usually just put it in the places that I normally get like really dry so I'll put it right on my cheeks and around my nose and then I'll just use any excess on my face for around my mouth I typically don't have any issues in this area here so I don't apply any um, to my forehead area I just pretty much concentrate it on the lower half of my face all right so now that that's all blended in um, typically if I'm doing a makeup look if I'm using like eyeshadow things like that I'll do my eyeshadow first and then I'll put on my foundation but for the purpose of this video um, I'm just going to do like my whole face and I'm even going to put foundation on my eyelids because I usually don't do that but for today's look I'm just going to just do my foundation. So if you've been watching my channel for a while you know that um, I tend to use the Revlon Color Stay foundation and this is actually my go-to foundation. And I'm in the color 410 Cappuccino. So with this particular foundation, um, it doesn't come with a pump. So I have to either pour it out or um, use a something to scrape out the inside because I'm pretty low on this right now. So I have to like scrape down in the bottom. Um, so I just use a palette. And then I use this e.l.f. It's a... Uh, small dome brush and it's actually 
It says it's a mineral powder brush, but I use it for liquid foundation. I just feel like it, um, I like how dense it is and it doesn't really suck up a lot of the product. So I'm able to go through and it, um, it stipples the product on very well and also blends it out really well. And even though the foundation is liquid, um, I still like to use something to wet my brush first. It just makes the product glide on my face a lot easier versus with a dry brush. So this is the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. And all I do is just spray a little bit on the brush. It's not a lot, it's not like soaking wet, but you want to get it damp. And then I just go in and I stipple a little bit on and then I move to a place that's dry and just kind of tap off some of the excess. And then I just go in and I first stipple the product where I want it because I want to get the coverage first and then I go through and blend it out. I go through and do the same thing and if I feel my brush getting dry I'll just go back through and spray a little bit more of that um, mist and set So now that I have my foundation on, I like to go on with my Studio Finish Concealer by MAC. And this is in the color NW50. And I like to go in with my finger. So I feel like it warms up the product and makes it easier to um, move around. So I warm it up a little bit and just get it on my finger. And I don't really have a bad problem with under eye circles but I notice like right here um, it tends to be a little dark even after foundation so I'll just go in with that and I'm just like bouncing my finger on my face. I'm not like moving or pulling the product around, just tapping my finger. And as you can see, that makes a big difference. So I like to do that and I'll go in and do the other side. And it doesn't take a lot either. I just use a little bit, just enough to cover 
the darkness right in the inner corner. And now I'll look more awake. So I go back in with that same brush and the spray and with a very light hand I'm not pressing down too hard just to blend out around where I put that concealer so even though it's pretty much the same color it might be a tad bit lighter than my foundation but I just want to make sure there's a that it's seamless Okay, so now I'm going to go in with my pressed powder and set everything. So I'm using my Sephora press powder, and this is the Micro Smooth Baked Face Compact. And this is in the color 60 Deep. So what I like to do first, I take a blending brush, and this is really large and fluffy. And so I'll go in with that first. So I'll just get a little bit, tap off any excess. And I like to look up, so I'm stretching this under eye. Because as you can see, it starts to fold. And you don't want your, you don't want to see those crease lines. So I like to look up and get that powder under my eyes first. And I just bring it down some. And I also go um, around my eyes with this too. Just because I put foundation on my eyelids. I've already primed my eyelid, but I'm just setting that foundation so it doesn't um, crease or move around throughout the day. And after I use the small brush to get around the um, harder to reach spots, I go in with this Kabuki brush and the same powder and I just kind of pat it in there. And what I like to do is press the powder into my skin first. So I'll just go all over and push it in. Because this is helping it to stick to the foundation first. And then I'm going to go through and brush it away. So now that I've pressed the powder in, I just do one, another swirl, and then I'll just go through and blend everything out. And that's basically it. Um, I usually like to use this as a base for all of my um, eyeshadow looks. And just depending on the look, I'll switch up the blush color and which highlighter I use. But other than that, this is my basic everyday go-to foundation routine. I really hope you ladies enjoyed this video. Please leave any questions that you have down in the comment section. And I will have a list of all the products that I used in the description box. Also, if you're new to my channel, please make sure you subscribe and check out all of my other videos. Also, make sure you give this video a thumbs up so I can continue to bring you guys more content and I'll see you ladies in my next video. Bye.